Got him. Get him. What? What was that? <laughs> you totally lost out not to be so aggressive. What? Hey, we we'll just. Good glorious day everybody. I am so excited about today's video because I have got the whole family with me. That's right, the whole Lake Life family is here. Stephanie literally has not been in this boat. Um, Emmy obviously has not. And this is our first family getaway uh, road trip together. So pretty awesome. We're about five hours away from uh, where we live in Dallas, Fort Worth. So it wasn't too bad of a drive. The adventure getting up here and everything is over at the Lake Life channel, which will be linked down below. But <laughs> there's a squirrel running on the dock. I could literally catch anything from spotted bass to walleye out here. Right now, I just want to try to get on a topwater bite. So let's get the silver bullet fired up. Wait a minute. Oh, this is not good. Oh, silver bullet, you better start. There it go. My goodness, I was so scared right there. I was like, I have all this water and I cannot explore. Okay, more talking later. It's time to go fishing. I gotta take you along, obviously. Get that first cast out there. The lake is not high, but it is up from where it was and there is some flooded vegetation. And in some parts of the lake, there's actually grass that grows, uh, like hydrilla, milfoil. I got a little bit of information from uh, one of the local fishermen last night when we got here. And he was telling me about, you know, the lake kind of breaks down from uh, you know, east to west, and one side has grass, uh, and the other side is more like a deep, clear, rocky situation. Also, what's going on is we have bluegill that are coming in to spawn right now, and uh, there's always bass that are going to be hanging around those bluegill beds this time of year. So, most of the, the bass are going to be out deep but there's always those shallow ones that go after those bluegill. I'm just gonna buzz through a couple of banks. If I don't get bed, I'm just gonna go right out to the main lake where I've seen most of the boat activity. Oh, right there, got him. Oh gosh, he got off, that was a decent one. Ooh, man, didn't have my drag set that good. God, he popped it. Literally popped his popper. That was a decent largemouth too. That was about a 15 inch largemouth. Right off the bat, just blah, man. Whew, that's how I like to start my day. One good bite so far, we'll keep trucking. I'm hoping for more top water though. My, my chances are fading though. I got up at 6 a.m. I should have got up at like five. Okay, I have figured something out, not fishing wise, but important. Those white buoys mean that there are big rocks sticking out of the lake, big shoals. I haven't uh, haven't hit one. I just I noticed when I was running by. I was like, oh, that's huge. That's real big. But a lot of times on these highland reservoirs, there'll be fish out on on these points and out on these like little hazard shoals. Not going to the plastics until. I see a need to. Okay, I'm already doing it. I'm going there. Oh man, that looks so good. Went out to about 15, 20 feet and wha-bam, started seeing fish. It's the first point I've gone on in 
actually started seeing fish. So fish on the back deck. So I can look at the electronics. Front graph's not working. Oh my gosh. Fish just came up right over there. Top water. Oh, got him. Got him. Dang. First fish. First fish of the trip, okay. Not a big one, but we found something. Spotted bass, I'm guessing. Yes, it is. Spotted bass. Came up, popped it. I didn't give you a sniff. I know there was a bigger one in there. These spotted bass get in schools in the summertime. And sometimes they're huge schools. Oh man, this, this could get a little fun here. Thinking I need to get a big crankbait on too, or at least a medium sized crankbait. Gosh, I just hooked in something big on a crankbait. This can't be a bass. The heck is this? Oh, it's a drum. Dear goodness. I mean, he absolutely freaking bonked it. Oof. Thought I'd foul hook something. Look at that big old drum, holy cow. That's one of my biggest drum ever right there. Woo, you need the big pliers. Wow. you by the hooks here just want to kind of pick him up oh okay he got away got away oh man that was a huge drum pause the crankbait and it just started ripping i was like what in the world there's literally fish right here below the boat and i there's like a one random tree that has a bunch of marks on it Gosh, they're just freaking, coming, they're coming up here. Went over the school of fish on my graph and it's like, they just dispersed and now they're just plopping all around me. Summer fishing, having this deep stuff. Getting a little tricky. It is time though for the funny hat. Cause I feel that sun, that's going on. This is usually the time of year when the, the funny hats and the, see there's a fish right there. Funny hats and the drop shots come out. I could literally see these bass and I think they're spotted bass roaming around this point. Like they'll come up, they'll pop up, they'll eat shad one spot, then they'll pop up in another spot. It just seems like I'm chasing them. I'm trying to get on the school. Oh my gosh, right in front of me. This is right where the, the school was that I saw. Well, so far I've definitely found fish. I've lost fish and I can't catch the fish that I'm seeing coming up to the surface. This is a nice thing about this trip is uh, it's kind of like a family vacay as well. So it's not like I'm out here just beating myself up uh, to catch the fish and then get home to, to family. I got my family here, so I get to enjoy them at the same time. So I'm gonna go fill my belly and then feed my brain with some fish knowledge. We're gonna get back out here and figure them out. And also here at the boat dock, we have my lovely bride. What great timing. Get in there. Ugh. Well, hey girls. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, we got up. We got up early. We went for a little walk, got dressed. We came down here, had some breakfast. It's been good times. It's been good times. And she's just loving every minute of it. Are you? You look a little dazed. I've caught a few fish, but they have not been the right size that I'm looking for. I caught a gigantic drum though. Oh, yay. A, a huge <laughs> drum. This is the Mountain Harbor Resort and spa. There is a spa portion of this. I'm not sure if OSG has uh, sure 
She has not figured that one out yet, but uh, I have a feeling that that might happen. Trails. She's found some trails though, so uh, so you're going to be doing some trails with Emmy. Might need some uh, a snake stick and some pepper spray. I got you a snake stick. Don't okay. worry, I brought one. Never go anywhere without a danger noodle stick. There is a subway on the lake, by the way. Yes, there is. But this one lands like at the head of a mountain or at the very top of a mountain. I don't have the fish figured out yet, but I've got the food figured out, y'all. So if y'all ever come up here to the Mountain Harbor, make sure to get the catfish, grilled and fried. I tried a little of both. Some of the best catfish I've ever had, actually. They're big, juicy fillets. And I just had the Southwest omelet and it was delicious. I'm perplexed on the fishing, y'all. Here's what's crazy about this lake. If you look up Lake Ouachita, the, the amount of fingers on this lake are crazy. It's the biggest lake in the state and uh, there's so many different species and everything it's it's a really cool lake to come out and if you just like like fishing in general the stripers are gigantic they have uh, 30 pound stripers in here caught on the regular then they have some super mondos my goal for today is just to figure out something on the lake that i can kind of lock into bluegill are up in the shallows right now y'all because they're coming up here to spawn in these coves look there's a bass right there chasing around those bluegill Look at that, right in front of me. Literally chasing the bluegill around. And that's not a big one, but that's what he's up here for. Let me show you guys what we're staying in here. Just step outside on the back deck here. So we have an overlook view of the harbor, the lake, the boat dock is right down there. There's the silver bullet is right down there. We can grill out if we feel like it or just chill, or we can just hop down into the hot tub. As y'all know, I am perfectly happy sleeping in the woods uh, and being by myself, but when the family comes along, it is nice to have some amenities. By the way, nothing out there. Uh, there's no homes on this lake. This is 100% a, a natural body of water surrounded by uh, a national forest. So there is, uh, there's no houses out here. And then they've got these cabins that are right here, and that's it. Wow, another two. There's two bass right here hanging around these bluegill. I mean, that one just looks like it's sitting on a bed. There's bluegill right here I can see spawning. Just look at all these rods up here, y'all. Deep swim baits, drop shots, wacky rigs, finesse jigs. Frank Bates, top waters. It's dead calm out here and probably 94 degrees. So the bass bite is a little off. I just had an epiphany. There's thousands of bluegills up in the shallows. I am equipped, as usual, for crappie, panfish, just about everything. Could get the cooler out, fill the cooler with bluegills, and just have a good time. I can keep 50 of them out here, and I can get Steph and Emmy out and fish for a little bit and they can catch some too. A little micro jerk bait right there. And guess what? They have crickets at the marina. This could get a little crazy here. Hang on to your butts. Start our motors. First kill. Finally got one big enough to slurp that jerk bait. Nice keeper. They're all keepers by the way one gill in the box so far on the jerk bait i've had hundreds of them come up and hit it they're at the reception area right now i'm gonna go pick them up take them back to the cabin because it's a long way around i'm gonna go pick up some crickets and some smaller hooks so right now all i can do is just catch those those bigger ones which i want to but i'm tired of seeing them hit this thing and not get on Well, I got me a tube full of cricket tail. I'm just going here to check out. Look, what they got in here. Dragon drops. Pretty cool. Bass. Bass coming. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Just won't eat it. It is cricket time. I literally see a bass just chilling there and gills everywhere. Okay, first things first, we gotta put on a little tiny hook. I'm using six pound Guggen Mono, in case you're curious. 
This is really like a crappie fishing reel. reel. I'm gonna try a straight kick cricket first, and then I'm gonna put it on a bobber. See what happens. And we'll get one of our crickets out of our our tube through the through the back meat right there. See how that plays out. Not bad. Not bad. Oh god, right away. Taken. Gone. See ya. Come here, buddy. Oh. Got him. Got him. Got a gill. Good gill too. Gotcha, boy. Yeah. Couldn't resist. Couldn't resist it. If I get a bunch that size, we'll be in good shape. I'm telling you, bass, everything is in this little cut that I just came across. Y'all, it's been a long time since I fished this way. This is what I plan on doing with Emmy. Either getting on, her on white bass or doing something like this for her first experience, but it might just be back at this place because the gill population is absurd. Suckers will get out of your grasp if you're not careful. Okay, let's try the bobber method. Oh, much easier to cast. Oh, it's gonna get slurped. Gone, got him, got him. Oh yes. Beautiful long ear. Look how pretty that fish is, y'all. That hook is key. Mm. Going with the crickets, it's it's night and day. Night and day difference. Oh yeah, already on it. Oh, he might have took me. Boom, got him. This guy pretty much just ate the legs. Boom. Oh wow, I oh, know that's a small bass. A little bit of a spotted bass. See you, buddy. Got him just on the leg. Only had the leg. That guy smoked it. Oh, okay. We're getting somewhere now. It's just loaded under this bridge. Try to go through the back and then out through the butt. Almost like you're rigging a Texas rig and then slide it up on the shank. Right there in that area? I think so. That's gonna happen, yes, got him. That's your standard female bluegill right there. Not much color. Got him, got him. There we go. Couldn't resist. I need to get OSG over here. Little fishy on. All of the ones that are stealing my bait. Got you, ooh, you're a, uh, you're the green sunfish. That's what you are, big. I don't know how the green sunfish will taste, but we're gonna throw them in the well. Just putting the hammer down. Putting the hammer down with the crickets. There is no resisting a cricket if you are a sunfish. I have figured that out today. Oh, God, he took it. Smashed it. Yeah, that's a good, good little long ear. Another one for the well. There we go. Got him. Little Scooby Doo. I'm gonna find another spot. This bridge has been excellent. I'm probably gonna come back to it. Okay, I know the sun is pretty much right on that, but if you look at that little section right there, those divots, those are the bluegill beds. So that is what we're looking for. Oh, she's up there, I guess. She's eating. Uh, I left my phone and my car wasn't there, so I'm assuming she's here. OSG hasn't caught a fish. All year, since I've been... Yes, since you've been a mom. Oh you are fishless as a mom. I'm a fishless I think, mom. I think we need to fix that. Hey, wow. put your hand off my face. <laughs> Okay, honey, here's your crickets. All right, got some lovely crickets. The fish are right behind us over there. So. All right, you're gonna rig me up? Yeah, I'm gonna rig you up. Okay. You got one already. Oh, oh, and it came off. It came off? Why'd you let him come off? I'm sorry. Probably took your it cricket. It probably did. Yeah, there's, I'm telling you. Dang, that happened fast. They like them a lot. Oh, yep. Yeah, cricket. Ate it clean off the hook. Cricket is gone, okay. Let's get you another one. Okay, here we go. 
You gonna watch daddy? They are literally up there on this point, this rocky area. Oh, that's not the best of casts, but here you go. Oh, I think there's one on there already. Yep. Oh, dude, that's a bluegill, so you don't have oh. to, don't have to smash them with the hook set. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited. Hey, this is my first fish I've caught. Oh my gosh, it is. I think you're gonna be shocked at how pretty it is. Oh, it this is, is a bluegill? This is a sunfish. That's a, that is a long ear, I believe. It's Give me pretty. Look, look how pretty that is. Look. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> get it off, get it off. <laughs> oh, you got fish blood on her face. Get off her nose. So sorry. Oh, you're, you're crescent into the Lake Life family now. <laughs> That is, that's, oh, you're, I'm sorry. you're one. You didn't even cry. You were just like, yes. Doesn't that look like something you'd see in a tropical museum? It's beautiful. Museum? All right, Emmy. Welcome to the tribe. Got him. Get him. What, what was that? <laughs> you totally lost out not to be so aggressive. What? It would just swam off. You got to like at least reel into him a hair. I was like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> We're I mean, so too aggressive. Totally ate your cricket. I mean, don't hook your daughter. Oh God, I'm Take scared. Take it easy. Not bad. Uh, She's more interested in the bugs. Yeah, she likes she likes the crickets. Okay, I mean, one day we're gonna be doing this with these crickets. You're gonna have your own rod. It might even be like an any model. Who knows? That's what I'm saying. You know, like a pink model. And uh, the Emmy rod. You're gonna catch your first fish. You're not quite ready yet, but you've got a good crescent today. Ended the evening last night on a great note that a raccoon has come up in here and savagely ripped apart my snacks. First bass on. Oh, golly. Got him on a drop shot. Please don't come off. It's a good fish. It's a good spotted bass. Oh, man. There we go. Yes. Thank you. He was up there, too. Oh, come here, baby. I need to give you a good sniff. God, that fish skyrocketed out of the water when I first hooked it. Oh my gosh, it's not spotted bass, it's a largemouth. Uh, it's a largemouth. No, come here. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, you're not very big, but gosh, I gotta give you a sniff. I was working so hard to get, get one of you yesterday. Ironically, I got it on a drop shot right there. Oh. oh, you might be one of the sweetest ones I've ever smelled just because of how hard I worked for you. Fat, fat, fat. Mm. Coming out early has paid off. All right, I'm gonna get a quick picture with this guy because I'm actually pretty proud of it <laughs> and then I'm gonna let it go. All right, you go have yourself a wonderful life here in Lake Ouachita. I enjoyed catching you, had a lot of fight. Powerful. Ooh, number two on a frog. Good morning. Man, that's a fun little bite. Got a couple of bass, got to give one a sniff. I think we're good here, y'all. I would go and fish a little bit longer. I don't want to cut it too close. OSG's probably getting up. I'm gonna eat a nice, healthy breakfast. 
Then I'm gonna take care of Emmy while OSG goes to the spa. Alrighty, y'all, the sun is coming up hot. The lake is heating up, it's starting to get pretty busy out here. And it is time for us to leave Lake Wachita. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. I keep wanting to say Lake Wachita, but I don't know if that's correct. I think it's Wachita. And on the next video, we're gonna be doing a special catch and cook, not only with bluegill, which I have never done before, but I've got a, uh, a new cooking device that I wanna try out, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe right here so you don't miss a single dangle, and I will see you right back here on the next one. Thank you.